how did I start? Um, I started on stage uh, in Singapore. My first venture into professional theatre was in the very first production of Beauty World. I was Ivy Chan Po Chu. Uh, I have incredibly fond memories of that very first production way, way back in the then World Trade Auditorium Theatre. Do you remember that one? Well, I've been doing this for the last professionally for the last 12 years so um, and I started out being a child actor in one of the necessary stages earliest productions called PSSB and I have a line which was the master beta that was my debut stage debut as a child actor in the necessary stages production there you go yeah, how did I begin in this line is that when I was young, I used to watch TV and I always wonder how Muppets, you know, how did this little figure can move and talk. And also there's also a little segment in between the shows. Back then, Media Corps was known as Sing uh, Singapore Bro Broadcasting Corporation. And in between the shows, there is this segment where, you know, they have magic tricks and or moving objects, moving around, telling a simple story. And I was wondering, hey, that's interesting. They can move by themselves. So I did some research in libraries and I'm get hooked on puppetry. And years later, Guo Pa Kun did his first play, I mean the play Lao Chiu. And he need puppeteers and he asked us to join. And from then, I just get stuck in theatre. I first get involved when I was back in 20 years ago. Um, where I worked with uh, William Teo in the salon. And he was a uh, director in theatre and this is how I get involved and my first production is uh, it was with uh, Theatre Works Russia Moon. How I started was really with Necessary Stage uh, I guess Elvin, Harish, myself we were all in university at the same time and then um, after graduation for a couple of years it was volunteer work and then after that when Elvin offered me a chance to go full time uh, when the company went full time I said yes of course I mean why not right I had nothing to lose um, in those days, wasn't earning very much anyway, and it was a very exciting time in Singapore theatre. So I thought, hey, why not? Uh. I first started when I was approached by Theatre Works mm. to design for private parts, and after that, everything just started snowballing, and uh, went on to do Beauty World and other companies' uh, productions. I started doing theatre when I was really young in church, as usual. Uh, I was curious about how people, or I was curious about people, uh, so I, I got involved uh, acting at first, and then later I got involved with uh, Act 3, which was uh, Singapore's children's first theatre company, uh, and I had a chance to direct for the company, stage manage for the company, uh, and then the older I become, I realised I needed to train uh, to be better at what I do. So then uh, I was fortunate that I was in the army, I had the chance to work with the music and drama company. So I did tap, ballet and jazz for a year. I first started theatre in 1988 with Beauty World. Um, I think that was the musical that started it all for a lot of us. And I went full time into theatre in 1997. Uh, that was with um, Lear, a production by Theatre Works. Um, it was the time when um, I couldn't take um, official leave from my practice as a lawyer and hence I thought I'll take a two years break and that two years break has become 14. So and I kept Singapore in 1981 to work here and in 1985, like about 25 years ago, I was one of the people who helped found, uh, found Theatre Works and when I came to Singapore I started doing stage uh, designs for various companies here like the Stage Club. Uh, Stars, which is now Singapore Repertory Theatre, and then uh, a lot of stage design for theatre works, particularly in the 80s and 90s, up to about five years ago. So I've done quite a lot of productions here, also for the Singapore Lyric Opera. Uh, but I did start out <sighs> sometime in the 20th century, when I was about 19 years old, and I was in university. Uh, my first play was with Theatre Works. It was a play by Michael Chiang called Mixed Signals. And um, I was pretty much um, playing multiple roles. It was one of the best times of my life because then I realised for sure that that was when I was going to make um, the theatre my world. This is how I started. Um, first audition I went is for um, Toy Factories. 
uh, Ocean, directed and written by Go Bun Tae, a very young Go Bun Tae then. So uh, I went for an audition, I didn't know what, what, what was going on, so I, I moved a bit, you know, danced around a bit, and he liked it. So he selected me, and that was my first collaboration with him as an actor. And then, you know, following that, uh, we did many other things, and then I did many other things with other directors, and that's how I became an actor in the beginning. I really love English literature, and uh, I was really envious of, uh, you know, all the literature that I was reading and how rich it was and there was a lack of it in Singapore itself and uh, that was got me excited and filled me up uh, to get people together and to collaborate and to create a new place for the Singapore stage. Yeah. That's how I got started.